doesn't like mail day. Hold on my dog. We're not going this way. Who the heck doesn't like mail day? Today is the day. It is December 30th actually. It's not New Year's Eve yet. But it's time to make a video to tell you guys what's going on. All right, so it is December 30th. You guys have probably watched this on December 30th or December 31st. It's time to give you guys a little update as to what's going on with this channel, what you expect in 2022. Now, a lot of people are doing this. <clears throat> but um, a little different here. So I told you guys in the last video that I was gonna like sell most of my cameras and get down to just one camera to choose. At the time I said it was the S5. Well, a little update on that. I got the S5. It like kept locking up malfunctioning. I sent it back to B&H. I don't know what was up with that thing. I tried different memory cards. I updated the firmware. I don't know. And I just gave some real consideration of what I really wanted to do. Uh, and I bounced around with a lot of different ideas. Uh, and I made a decision but I'm not gonna show it to you just yet. Stick around for just a second. Uh, I think it'll surprise some of you guys. I do wanna talk about this channel a little bit and touch on the fact that I think a lot of people uh, expect this to be just like a gear gas channel. Like, I, I don't put a lot of content on here that I would, would wanna make uh, because it's like, oh, you're gonna alienate your, your audience. But in 2022, uh, frankly, screw that. I'm gonna do whatever I want. But I'm really gonna focus on a few things. And so one of those is, uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more of the vlogging stuff when, it, when I feel like I wanna do it. I got some trips coming up, although with COVID there's some stuff going on there. But I got some trips coming up, so I wanna travel vlog with you guys a little bit. As I stick to one camera or one main digital camera for all of 2022, I'm gonna talk about like gas rehab or gas uh, detox, if you will. I'll talk to you guys about like just kind of what I'm going through because I'm really gonna stick to one camera. Now, that does not mean I won't buy lenses. I will buy lenses. Um, and I will keep this ZV-1 as my uh, kind of video vlogging camera and I will shoot film. So that's kind of the caveat there, but I will not buy another new digital camera in 2022. Uh, and on top of that, I'm gonna join like a 2022 photo challenge, uh, like weekly photo challenge and bring you guys along for some of that. Uh, as I like kind of go from like intermediate photographer and try to grow and get a little better at, at stuff like that. And if you guys wanna join, you can join, you can, watch or not watch or whatever. I've looked at a couple, like 52 Frames does it, but I feel like their topics are a little too, like, uh, ambiguous. They're like, you know, the things of yesteryear you didn't know or whatever. And it's like, eh, okay. I want something more direct, right? This week we're focusing on macro. This week we're focusing on landscape. Uh, this week we're focusing on things around you. Um, and ironically enough, Peter Forsgaard is one of the Olympus Visionary guys. He actually, uh, has a challenge going on. I looked at the list of things. If I have a copy, I'll put it right here. <clears throat> and I think actually it's uh, pretty pretty solid. So I might do the Peter Forsgaard one. Plus he has a Facebook group, get with like-minded people, and that kind of stuff. Uh, so again, we're gonna do a little travel vlogs. We're gonna do gas detox. We're gonna do weekly assignments that I'm gonna get into. I'll bring those up every week. And then last but not least, I'm gonna do uh, gear reviews from the perspective of lenses or things I'm gonna try out on this camera that I chose for 2022. You guys ready? Here it is. Bam, ba, da, da. A dead system. A dead loser sensor, micro four third sensor. I'm just kidding. I actually don't think that at all, but what many people do. This is the Olympus EM5 Mark III. Um, <clears throat> I've always liked the Olympus system. As you guys know, I've gone back and forth. I always have full frame sensor FOMO but I decided I am gonna pick an EM1 Mark III. I just got this in the mail today. And I also got it with the uh, 25 millimeter F1.2. And the reason why I picked this, frankly, is because I've always enjoyed these cameras. I like the IBIS in them. I like the weather sealing. I'm gonna do some you know, stuff that might get them pretty wet. The autofocus in this, is, photo focus in this is good. They added the joystick nub, which is great. <clears throat> We're going to Disney. I might try some live composite stuff. And I can take what this is probably the biggest this camera will be with the Prime, unless I get the 300 F4. Uh, and I can make it really small too, so it works for me on both ends. And so I, I ordered the 12 millimeter F2. I will use that for a lot of video work. The 25 1.2 will kind of be my portrait slash uh, everyday type of, of lens. I'll eventually look for a portrait lens, specific portrait lens, maybe like a 56 1.4 or a 45 or 40 42.5 or uh, maybe even a 75 1.8. There's a lot of good options in micro four thirds. And then I'm going to get a uh, a long lens for any kind of 
wildlife landscape type stuff. So like a 100 to 400 or a 50 to 200, I have to kind of analyze all those. And instead of buying and selling this year, I might rent uh, and just pay the cost of the rental and, and use it. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. But yeah, this is the camera I chose for 2022. It is the Olympus EM1 Mark III. Uh, and I'm not gonna change any, I'm not gonna change at all in 2022, not at all. So if you like Olympus gear, stick around. And um, if you wanna see me suffer as I go through like withdrawals, stick around for that too, that'll be good. And uh, if you're interested in the weekly photo challenge stuff, um, I'd be interested in kind of meeting you guys on Facebook and meeting where you're at to talk about some of this stuff. Uh, so that is what's going on for 2022. Also, <clears throat> my family currently has COVID. I have not tested positive yet, but it's possible. It's likely, in fact, it's likely. Uh, even, even though we were vaxxed and our second shot was just a month and a half ago. So, yeah. Okay, guys, have a happy new year, and I'll see you guys starting on January 1st. Also, uh, <clears throat> real quick before I go, I'm gonna try and do like what's called a Daniel diet. Uh, for the first three weeks of January, it's just vegetables, fruits, and like flatbreads. No meats, no dairy, nothing processed, no alcohol, none of that. I'm curious. Is that something you guys are interested in? I don't know. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great, happy new year. Be safe. And uh, yes, Omicron, things out of control. Not Omarion. Not to be confused with Omarion, the B2K dancer. Omicron. Omicron. All right, guys. See you next time.